And now on to a problem that we can all relate to, transportation. Tra- traffic congestion. Yo, this I'm a big geek for just transit issues in we Toronto. I, I don't even think we've scratched the surface yet, really. I'm just waiting for that full transit episode. Uh, I'm talking but, about off-air. We've yeah, more than no, scratched I, the surface. <laughs> but anyways, what's been in the news this week uh, in Toronto, but it uh, definitely applies to a lot of places, is the notion of putting road tolls in to help solve the transit to the congestion problem by paying for public transit transit expansion. What do you think, Shannon? Do you think that's a good idea? I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea. I think that there's, I, first of all, I'm a very proactive taxpayer. I enjoy paying taxes. I enjoy paying parking tickets, for that matter of fact, because I know I that gets recycled. Parking tickets. That's I do. Bullshit. I love the. I don't care. I know where the money is going, and I appreciate that. I love the LCBO. I don't want it to become privatized. I like. <laughs> you don't drink. That, I don't drink, but if I did, <laughs> I'd spend copious amounts of the LCBO to resupport the government. So I, I'm a, I like paying taxes, but I also think that this congestion, Toronto has the largest, longest commute time in all of North America, beating mm. out LA and New York. And you think of LA, you think of small congestion traffic. Well, we're worse over here, buddy. It's real in these streets, yo. Something's got to change. Real. I don't know. See, see, here's my problem. I think, I think road tolls are not a bad thing, but I think the language is if you present road tolls as a solution to needing more subway systems, you create a problem. I think any salute, transit solution can't fully depend on puni- like punitive charges against motorists, mainly because there always already is kind of a divide between people who take, choose to take their cars and people who choose to take public transit. If you punish one and just give the benefits of that punishment to the other group, that creates the atmosphere for political groups to come in and take advantage of that divide. So if there's a solution here, I think road tolls could be part of it. Maybe just even pay for the fucking roads because that's a problem here. But <laughs> um, that can't be the total solution. That has to be just a small fraction of the overall. All right. But check this out, though. You don't have to make it something that causes a divide because solving the transit problem is something that affects motors as well, too. When we think of the fact that we can now subsidize transit. So we have, I don't know, like not the worst, shittiest transit system of all time, of all major cities. Like It's ridiculous if you compare us to other cities. If we can improve that, we're improving congestion. We're improving traffic. So maybe you'll have to pay a road toll of a dollar or two bucks each time, but you're saving twenty mm-hmm. percent in fuel per annum. So how does that not a win win for everybody? I think theoretically it could be a win win. The problem is I, I don't foresee actual car ridership going down. And there's no real stats that forecast that. And any sort of the, this idea that we can put a congestion charge in and that will make your, your driving commute easier, I think is kind of a hope and a prayer. I Sorry, bro. Happen. I don't know. If you ever if you're a driver there was the week when they said that 50% of the population had the flu or maybe 20%. There was literally no rush hour. There's times when they don't have school in place for college and university students, but everybody else is at work and rush hour is depleted by so much. Mm-hmm. You can truly affect traffic in so many ways by taking out 10% of your everyday commuters. Definitely, and definitely. I personally don't take TTC because it doesn't make any sense for me to spend an extra three hours to save three bucks. So if I knew that my TTC trip was going to be half hour or 45 minutes, but my car ride would be half an hour, I can justify that. But right now I can't justify it. Well, I think the problem you're sort of highlighting there is that within Toronto, the transit system works well and very well in some areas and and fails miserably in other ones. And Which is why to, we need a road toll in there to yeah, bump that up. We're trying to raise $2 billion a year to do this. I don't think you can do that. Oh, Someone's got to pay and I don't mind it being me and I drive. I don't take a TTC ever, but I See, don't mind. Here's, here's the thing. I think it should be drivers and it should be everyone. And the easiest way and the most effective way to most the most bang for the buck is probably just the sales tax. Tax yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. The sales tax. That's actually Sarah Thompson's 1% solution. That's actually was LA's solution. Okay. Well, give her some shine. Okay. Big ups to Sarah. All right. All right. Here's a question for you. Do white journalists talk technology? Does Pitchfork have a race problem or does chaos just have a sentence structure problem? And stay tuned for a recent study that proves once and for all that pot, although natural, is in fact awful. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Here, here we are. Woo! Episode number 27 of The Sum Up, <laughs> February 10th, 2013. And I am Michael J. Warren. And you I are? am Shannon T. Boudram. You right. went first this time. I did. I Threw me it. off. Threw it. me off. Uh, we got it. an hour of controversial and conversational net finds.